everyone welcome back to another exo zeros video so sad to say we're not getting dork at this point but more or less we have some events and a choice fate core before that if you wanted updated exo zeros content please hit the subscribe button down below all right to start off this um update we have a couple of uh, events that is actually coming up tomorrow so we have a core raid so it's in a it's actually in a black and white extended uh core raid so as you can see these are your standard core raid events and you have events which have step up rewards like um again orange desert treasure hunter gale 50 star crystals faded weapon crafting ticket fate core recruit ticket which is actually every what is everyone uh, looking for and 10 mi mystic recruit ticket which will help us recruit misty if you actually haven't had her yet so more or less again i'm actually looking forward to this because i don't have misty yet so unfortunately for me it's actually it's a, it has been bad luck so far but more or less this is one of the events these are actually this is one of the event that is dropping by tomorrow um next we will actually go um beyond the choice fate career i'll discuss this last because i have to discuss on a more in-depth discussion for this one the next would be your seven days of gifts so you have here as gifts um day one is zest 200 day two gold 500,000. day three solar seal 1000 day four book of experience basic time 70 die coupon 50 for day five day six is nation recruit ticket times five and day seven it's usually zest times 500 so good for everybody any free item or items are actually welcome in this game <coughs> and this is what i've been wanting to discuss with you guys because they're telling us now that they have normalized artverse okay um i'll read this one arcverse usage restriction normalized okay so they have fixed it right i'm actually just still skeptical if they fixed it already but i'll take their word their word for it that it's fixed so first of all we apologize for the usage restriction that was carried out to fix the issues that occurred after the arcverse update which was quite a while back already around a month or more not sure so currently we have made improvements and fixed the issues that were found internally and concluded that arc first can be open for use so this is what i'm actually looking forward to tomorrow hopefully uh we can actually enjoy this um this uh part of the game and hopefully there are no bugs anymore so it will be left to what is in store for us tomorrow so let's go back to the choice fate Corey. <coughs> So again, for Ch Choice Fate Curry, we have here the South of the South, uh, Son of the Southland, which actually was a bunch of uh, swimsuit skins or Fate Cores that was released a year ago, um, August. So this was actually a very hyped up, uh, what they call this theme, um, a year ago. And more or less, um, the precautions are the same. The black, the gold fate core is 0.5%. Black is 0.7%. And for every 11 recruits, you will, you will obtain one core mileage. 28 core mileage are required to guarantee obtain. Okay, so again, let's dive into this more deeper. And I'll explain to you guys who is actually the best to get here. Um, it's actually very obvious, but I wanted to emphasize that... Um, these two depending on what your teams are are going to be you know are going to be pivotal in your pulls if you decide to pull for this banner okay so here we are at the south son of the southland uh fate core theme and um fc yao is not included in this so sorry sorry to me because i was actually you know i'm i, st I still lack a couple of copies for fc or blue fc yao but again there are um others that you could pull here so namely the four to the furthest furthest uh, right more or less i'm not recommending you guys to pull they are they are merely for aesthetics and 
um, if you really want to invest your zest right now, especially if the mileages are 28, I would rather you guys invest it in these two. But again, my advice is don't pull for Degas. Don't pull for... For... Who is this? For... For... I, I, I mistook him for Schmidt. For Glenn. Don't pull for Bernadette unless you really like how she looks. Wink, wink. <laughs> and also, don't pull for Scarlet if you, you know, you only pull for her if you really want her fate core, the design. They are not really meant for the meta. They are purely more on aesthetics wise and character design. And if, but if you love the character that much or the hero that much, then pull for him or her. So you have two choices. You have two as bundles here. Glenn and Degas and two waifus, which is Bernadette and Scarlet. So again, be my guest if you really want to spend your zest on them. But my recommendation would be either these two. Okay, we'll start first with FC Iris. So FC Iris is actually um, very powerful because she, you know, she, she gets rid of barriers, actually. So if a caster has a removal buff, uh, recovery... Positive effect of applied on an ally uh, as a target with modification. Okay, then cleanses, then summer's blessing, then wet fog. Wet fog is actually the one that removes all barriers from all enemies when the enemy grants a barrier. Okay, one time per round. So for each round, she removes it. And by this ability alone, she is valued. Um, the problem. Um, the problem with Iris is she doesn't play a big part right now in PvP. But you, if you really want somebody who takes uh, takes out barriers in an instant, then she's the girl that you need to summon for. Of course, she has Summer's Blessing, um, more or less protects uh, frost damage immunity for, for more or less um, one time to all allies and can't be stacked. And you have here flop flop again if the caster's removal buff, blah blah, buff recovery positive effect applied on an ally. Each valid attack affects the target with modification. It's like you're morphing that person to rubber ducky or a fish. So that is actually what she is doing. She's she is actually good in terms of a support hero um, and also. More or less, if you want to get her, she is actually good for S1, which uh, removes status effects from all allies and gains one mana for each and every one of them. This is actually every turn. You can spam this skill. So again, that's it. And also her S2 is a hard hitting. Um, S2 deals 525% damage to one enemy. And she is actually very good if you don't count the meta right now, she is still viable in the meta. But again, her usage has dipped a bit. But she's still valuable, I tell you. She is an all-around um, all um, hero, PvP, or PvE-wise. So more or less, again, she's valuable even just for her S1. But again, she's an all-around support that if you need her, you have to get her. And lastly is FC Valentina. So with the recent resurgence of uh, North One Frosty, she is actually quite a hot commodity right now. Um, more or less, again, she has Fluff Flop and Summer's Blessing and Mud Absorb. Um, she, she's good. She's kind of good for her passive. But what sets her apart is actually her S1 and S2. In terms of let's let's discuss the skills first. So deals for S1 seductive punishment. You have required mana one deals 150% damage to one enemy, afflicts target with frostbite, dealing 92% damage every turn for two turns. But this is not what makes her good. What makes her good is her contempt mana burn 10 mana all all enemies afflicted with fear of the abyss, which comes from Shufraken. 
um, because Shufraken will trigger it if he has the highest defense than the enemies on the other side. So with Fear of the Abyss, if the target is afflicted with Fear of the Abyss and binds gain mana effect for 7 turns. So again, mana burn for turn, then bind, um, meaning th they, they cannot gain mana for 7 turns. So again, this is pretty much sick. This can lock your enemies um, <laughs> without doing any special skills or S1 or S2 on their turn. And more or less for her S2, it's just a bigger damage and mana burn uh, contempt is, is, is still there with mana burn and bind. So again, with the with the inclusion of Misty recently for North One Frosty, I think they're very viable right now, um, especially for Misty in getting, you know, um, being able to pacify First Guardians and, you know, have this girl. This girl is actually going to be pr well protected now with Misty. Also, if you bring back three still, but again, Misty is well enough um, equipped to protect Valentina for her to survive for her to deal either s1 or s2 damage and um having contempt take effect so again either iris or valentina is a good pick i wouldn't you know i wouldn't uh, say that one is 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 good over the other right now valentina's stock has has risen because again of the new dynamic for north one frosty but again if you need I, uh, sorry, uh, Valentina. Uh, sorry, what I meant was Valentina's stock is actually rising because of the new dynamic for Northman Frosty. But again, you can also pick Iris if you need her on your team. By the way, both of them are um, or belong to the North Von Frosty Nation. So again, they have you know if 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 you're a North Von Frosty team um, builder, um, you can't go wrong with either of them. Okay. So again, guys, thank you very much for staying to this part of the video. Please consider subscribing while you're here. Don't forget to click that bell icon so don't miss any EXO Series videos. Also, please put a like on this video if you find this helpful. Take care, guys. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.